What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Guess what? I left my house four days ago and in those four days I've already came to South Carolina, got a hotel room, drove to Virginia Beach, got a hotel room, filmed the Stingray show, drove to Ocean City, Maryland, hung out with a good friend of mine, Billy Gerlach. Nice seeing you, Billy. I haven't seen you in forever. Left Ocean City, Maryland, drove to Virginia or to Chesapeake Bay, filmed the Crabbin show y'all have already seen. Then I drove all the way back here to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Kyle, and we made a catfishing video that you're watching now. You guys, I've done some work in the last four days. Kyle hooked up the minivan to the pontoon boat, and we took it to the river. Let's go watch some fishing right now. This is not your average fishing. We have no fishing poles, but we catch fish, y'all watch. All right, so we just got out here. We caught bait, and we're getting ready to set these hooks. We're gonna be bush hook fishing, which means we tie a line to that tree down to a weight to a circle hook and a big live bait. Oh yeah, that's the one I caught right there. That's the Mac Daddy. Oh yeah. All right, explain to us this whole rig. All right, these are what I call my cat bombs. Um, there's two caps that go on the end of them. One end, you have the hook and the weight. The other end, you have a carabiner hook that hooks to the tree. Basically, you unhook it and you reel it out to the depth that you want. That is some redneck ingenuity at its best right there. So we are gonna hook this to this tree right here. Oh, you're getting brave. You're all the way out there on that end. Yep, you want that, want that, uh, you want that give. That flimsiness. Yep. And then we're gonna crank her down. I mean, you guys, y'all leave a comment below if you've ever seen any. I mean, that is redneck ingenuity and it is flat out awesome. All right. Get we're our... gonna use this big bait. Turn him sideways so I can see him, Connor. Holy moly. All right, we so must be going after big catfish. We got our depth here. It's about eight feet. Looks like we're going Goliath grouper fishing with that hook. I'm gonna take this hook and go in right in the back of it. Right above the spine. That way he stays dancing. Oh, you want him alive? Yep, want him alive. And then you just chuck him. Look at that, that's all his rig. So this is one with a cap on it. That's the whole rig inside there. That way dogs and kids, nobody can get tangled. It doesn't get tangled in the box. So I've yet to explain how I've met Kyle and his son Connor. So his son Connor is a big fan of me and Deer Meat for Dinner's channel. He watches us all the time and his dad saw that I was coming through South Carolina and reached out to me via Instagram. So I showed up and I had my Gator Pro gig that y'all have seen me use in every video I've done on YouTube where I've used a gig, I've used this particular gig. Well, guess what? Kyle and his son Connor, fish gig up here they flounder gig so i said hey i don't really want to take this gig home with me he don't really know what to make of it yet right now but do you realize how many fish that fish gig is gigged also for him being a big fan and setting this trip up i give him his own pair of Denko pliers hey thanks for bringing me out yes sir thank you oh boy i have a feeling about this spot i've got to feel it that you're about to trip over the fish gig son that, it's your gig and you're already leaving it in a way no, you left it in the way. What? I give it to you, therefore it's no longer my problem. You put it right there. All right, bait number three is fishing. We were going to set it on that branch right there, and I, one of those killer wasps that you've been seeing on the, I was going to say fake news, but I don't want to offend any of y'all, but it stung me in the back of my head, and it felt like Kyle punched me. I'm like, what did I do to you? All right, so we've set three lines. we got three different baits in that creek right there. But what y'all don't know is I got here first thing this morning and Kyle knew I was coming so yesterday he went out and put lines. So we already got lines to pull and we've already pulled the lines. Actually we've already cooked everything but y'all don't know that thus far because it's the beginning of the video. So let's go back to this morning and show y'all how we caught these catfish and which ones. And pay attention to that creek right there because something crazy happens in there. Hey. What in the holy mackerel? What is that? Blue. Look at that catfish. Tell me what that is. Oh, he's in here. Oh, he comes off and Redneck saves him. <laughs> we already got one, so we just pulled into this cove and we've got three lines in here. There is a there's, we're seeing this one right here is moving though, so hopefully Mr. Connor thinks there's one on here yeah. and we're going to go catch him. Redneck, make sure you got his back when he comes up now if there's one on here. Look at it. That joker's at a extreme angle so we're about to see redneck you smell one 
Here, I'm gonna hand you the line, you pull. Uh oh. I don't know, is there something on there? Yeah. You what? Yeah, there's one on here. There's what? Oh, son, son, pull him. Pull him up in here. Oh yeah. Come on, he's bigger than you. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Right Get over here. Look at that. All right, Redneck, quit. Get back. Hey. Good job, Redneck. Give me Nux. Son, he's, he's quick to break out them new pliers. Help you? Oh, that one's deep. That circle hook is deep. Okay, I cannot do that. I know. You're gonna have to let Daddy help you with that one. Oh. Bad boy. What do you think he's saying right now, Connor? Uh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna pick him up? He sounds no. You don't want to pick him up? No. He's gonna bite me. What, dude? It's you just got to be on Blue Gabe. What are you so mad about? Let's see if he'll bite me. Hey, we're definitely having catfish. Yeah, for dinner. Come over here and lift this lid up for me. Look at that. We got two. Oh, yeah. Do not attack me, Mama. Did you see her? Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> Connor, you think we got one? You think? Let's see. Let's see. What in the world? Son, what is it? This is another flathead. I can hold that one by hand. You can? Yeah. What y'all think about this? Bush hooking it. Bush hooking no rods and reels on a uh, pontoon boat in South Carolina. It don't get no better. All right, so we already have four in the box. He set these lines last night late. And it's not good to let them sit for very long because these catfish will find something. They'll swim down and wrap themselves around something and spin off the hook. And that's exactly what's happened on most of them. But we already got a bait well full of big catfish. We don't even really need more than that. So it's already been a success. So all we're using, that's a pretty big, about 10 aught circle hook, four or five ounces of lead on the bottom up to a limb. And as you can see, we could have a fish fry for 25 people with the fish we got now, at least. And we got about six more to go. If that tree could tell stories, imagine what it would say. I would almost be willing to bet at some point in the history of that tree, an Indian has in a dugout canoe or whatever came down this little particular creek. And I know some of the early, you know, American pioneers have only if that tree could talk that would be amazing and look at this one too i mean you're talking hundreds of years old don't you think hundreds, oh, yeah. hundreds. Off. think about a couple hundred years of history floating by these trees and just close your eyes and daydream and think about that the big alligators the just storms hurricanes that tree's seen a lot i mean just think about the hurricanes alone that that tree has seen you go Two or three hundred years of hurricanes, and that tree could be older than that. So for a bunch of y'all that follow me on Instagram and have been following my storyline, you see that I'm deathly afraid of heights. Like, I hate bridges. And I get a lot of people making fun of me, which, of course, I don't care about that. I mean, that's why I posted, to give y'all something to laugh at. But what's different between me and most of you guys is I'm scared of heights. But I could jump in and swim through this swamp right now and it wouldn't even phase me. And I guarantee you half of y'all would die if you landed in the water. That's just the thing. You, you can't really make fun of somebody for fears because everybody's got fears. It's just they're all different. I mean, I think you would agree. You, there's a lot of y'all watching that probably wouldn't even feel comfortable being on this boat where we're at because there's giant alligators, cottonmouth water moccasins, snakes, spiders, bees, hornets. And to us, this is how we grew up. But I didn't grow up on high bridges, so they scare the absolute mess out of me. Connor, you think there's gonna be something here? Yeah. How big? Show me with your hands how big he's gonna be. That's pretty big. Like a good eating size. I think Redneck can smell him. Where is it? Right around this corner, hold on. This is where the big alligators live, Connor. I can smell him. So we had one on so big that the hook's gone. The what? Where is it? It was right here. It was on this bush. This is the one that I had to swim down for a long time ago. 
it's broke off. I can see it hanging. I can see a rope. Holy mackerel, Connor. What? This was the big catfish of the deep. It took our whole rig. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe an alligator. Right Must have been an alligator. Oh, look at that. What? Holy mackerel, it broke the whole branch off. Right there, broke yeah, the whole branch. It broke yeah, the whole branch. Yeah, we had a bush hook sitting here. Look at that. So you mean to tell me you had one of these hooks on that branch and it yep. broke the whole branch off? Yep, we had a five, about a five inch brim on that branch and it's gone. <laughs> I might know what took it. God. You guys, it, like that's what myths and legends are made of. That could have been a 400 pound catfish. You don't know. We'll never know. Alligator. You think an alligator got it? Yeah. What about that osprey that's so mad at us right there? You hear him? Look at that big one. All right, now the reason his tail's cut off is my boys in Kentucky, they taught me how to properly bleed a catfish. I can't show it on YouTube though. It was alive, I hack its tail off, hang it up, and it bleeds out. My name's Kyle, um, Instagram's Kyle Vermeer, and uh, YouTube channel's Wild Boys. Wild Boys? Boys. V Go ahead and shoot real quick. Good stick. Bullseye. Got that thing on Monday. I like to start right in here in the top. Just kind of work my way down. What's the biggest catfish you've ever caught on a bush hook? 62 pounds. Woo! 62 pounds. Flathead or blue? Flathead. Did you ever use the Danko knife before? Nope. Don't cut your fingers off, son. I saw that. That red-handled knife over there, it, it, that's like for beginners. You're using a real man's knife now. <laughs> and you remember me saying in the video, you can see where her head's raw, where she's been in the hole spawning. What's your favorite part about cleaning a fish? Um, doing the stomach. You there wanna was... see what's in the stomach? Yeah. So do I, let's go. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Look at the row. Holy moly. <laughs> well, you know she was getting ready to spawn. Yep. She don't have anything in her belly, no, huh? Nothing. Well, no surprises today. <laughs> nothing. Check those crabs out there. Are you excited about the crabs? I'm really excited about the crabs. Those bad boys were swimming in the Chesapeake Bay yesterday morning in Redneck. Can definitely agree because he got a jellyfish in his eyeball. You about done over here? Working on it. What is this stuff called again? Some Louisiana, Some Louisiana fish, fry. fish fry. That's just milk and the catfish nuggets. Over here we got the grits. Just turn the heat down, put the lid on, and let them sit. Looks like she's making cheese grits though, because that's probably the only reason those are out here. Some honey butter for the hush puppies that we're about to make. And I'm ready to eat. You don't have me out in the heat, in the Carolina heat, catching these catfish. Hot. It's hot outside. Oh, you know, can y'all smell that or what? If you go into your iPhone settings and go to create scratch and sniff, you'll be able to smell this. <laughs> mm. Bet y'all didn't know there was a scratch and sniff app. Look at that though. Hush puppies, the fish, some grits, thanks to mama. All right, who's asking a blessing? Me. God is great. God is good. Thank you for watching. Amen. 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 Good job. Mm. All right, y'all try that catfish and let me know what you think. I, I slayed you over that. <laughs> I'm excited. Here I can go. tell you one thing about that seasoning. Oh, is it super good? Nobody else is trying. Y'all heard me ask him. Nobody else is trying. Mmm. Oh, really good. Dude, that is so insanely good. Very good. Swimming this morning. Just a minute ago, I was outside reading my Instagram comments and somebody said, I hope you're not eating that flathead. It tastes like mud. If mud tastes like that, y'all, I'm getting ready to eat a bunch of it. Y'all don't typically see me eat a lot on my channel because normally I'm the one cooking and editing and normally I'm jumping right to the editing part. This honey butter she just made with this hush puppy. Mmm. This is food I grew up on. And it's no different here in South Carolina than it is South Florida, and it's so amazing. Mm. Y'all already know what time it is. It's that crab time. All right, you guys, since I got here, I haven't stopped. I got in late last night, we videoed 
We're videoed all day to right now. I'm ready to sit down and enjoy my time while I'm here. The last little bit I got because I'm leaving here and going to Chiefland, Florida to meet Britos Mas Grande, my older brother Aubrey, and my two kids to do an Axis deer hunt. That's right, we're going deer hunting in July. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for subbing, and if you haven't subbed yet, hit that like button. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See ya.